My name is Mackenzie Madison and I am a professional triathlete. I do Ironman and half Ironman distance races, which consists of a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, followed by a marathon run. Being a triathlete, I am bent over and down an arrow, so that's a stress on my lower back. Um, and then going from that for, you know, how many ever hours and then trying to run, um, and even for a race, a full marathon after 112 miles, you notice little things like that and it kept getting um, worse and worse even though I would do strength work to combat that pain. Um, but the back pain, it just, it would get so bad sometimes that it might have felt like there was a vice in my back and um, I just knew that it wasn't right. It wasn't a right feeling. and. The more I trained, um, I would see physical therapists and I would, um, they would tell me, you know, if you can do these things, then you're fine. You know, you can, you can keep going through this pain and I just knew there was something still wrong, like deep down and I, you know, we were trying to attack all these other avenues of where I could potentially be getting injured. Um, and it wasn't until I tore my hamstring. Um, and that really kind of gave me an imbalance um, between my left and right leg that I really started noticing that the root of the problem was my back and not necessarily the hamstring. The hamstring was a result of a more major issue within my lower back. My hamstring surgeon actually referred me to Dr. Phillips. They found uh, kind of some, maybe some broken um, bone uh, that was healing on an x-ray. Um, when they were looking at my hamstring. And that's what they pointed out. Now that is not right. And so it was, you know, something like, hey, you might have a bigger problem at hand. And so he referred me over to Dr. Phillips and um, he's kind of been the greatest thing for me um, so far and, you know, figuring out what's going on with my lower back. And so it was kind of the little things led me to a doctor who could actually help me. Just to put what I have in layman's terms, I have too narrow of um, like vertebrae in my lower back, and that's in L4 and L5. And so with the amount of training that I do, um, you know, your muscles get tired. And especially after nine hours, you know, I'm out there for a race nine hours. That's a full work day for people, and I'm out there pushing really hard and racing people for that amount of time. Um, and your form starts to uh, break down. And for me, I can't really afford to even have a little bit of form breakdown because what happens is since my nerve and my spinal cord is so, I don't have a lot of space in my vertebrae, that rubbing, I have no room for my nerve, to, if it gets inflamed, to be happy. So what it does is it gets really inflamed and I can get some issues with my leg, such as having drop leg, I mean, I lose power and I can't, my legs go numb, um, or I get intense shooting pain uh, down my legs. And so having that uh, epidural injection with the steroid in it, that calms the inflammation. And so that makes you know those vertebrae happy, and that allows me to perform and my nerves to operate and for me to swim, bike, and run um, to my ability.